Hi folks, Aaron with PubSafe. Here we are again looking at another storm coming to the United States. And I wanted to take some time to go over some of the uh, things that are available to you in the PubSafe Public Network Safety Mobile app to make sure that you understand the features and the functions that are available to you and some of the things you, you can do to uh, make the app work better for you. We certainly appreciate any feedback that you may have. Uh, it is a work in progress and uh, we are working diligently to uh, make the features available uh, to everybody both during disasters as well as uh, for daily use. So let's take a quick run through the application. Uh, first of all, along the bottom you'll see that we have status, help, sit rep, location, and more. The status is your location, your information, your situation. Uh, if you want to share that information with other uh, people, such as family and friends, you can update them and you can keep moving and they can check your status. Next is help. Help is not a non-emergency, non-life-threatening situation. Uh, we always want you to call 911 first, but then come in here and post. And when you post into this section, what will happen is people that are in the general area will receive an alert on their phone and uh, they can then respond to you. So volunteer groups or in a large-scale disaster, uh, if you're doing okay and then you see alerts from a couple you know, neighborhoods over, you can go over and help in a particular area. That information is also saved to the map so people know exactly where to go to render that assistance. You have a couple options. You can add media, which includes uh, photos, videos, or an audio note. Uh, you can also skip the media but media is very helpful for, pe for people to understand the severity of the situation. Once you uh, get past the media section, you come in, you can add comments, and you can then select how long this particular help request is going to be valid. If you have a flat tire, you would have a very short uh, help request period, and that would expire the information from the map and from the public view. Therefore, uh, people would not uh, be concerned about responding. If you lose your house, or you're in a desperate situation, you may have something that's going to take uh, many days or weeks to resolve and you can use ongoing help. You can always delete the post and then repost it as an update. Next is a sit rep. A sit rep is a status report. Sit reps are great for a lot of different reasons. One, if the government is looking to understand what is going on in your particular geographic area, they can certainly look at the map and understand, hey, there's nothing going on in this neighborhood. We don't need to dispatch resources over there or maybe there's flooding going on in a particular area and the water's rising fast and we better get resources over there sooner than later because people are going to be in big trouble. Understand that once you submit that this goes out to the public so that's a, uh, I'm not going to actually submit the help request. Uh, you can click the map icon in the top right hand corner to return to the desktop map. So sit reps are very important and you should do sit reps frequently to continuously update the information for everybody in the area and really the world to know and understand what's going on in your, your area. Next we have a location. This is for shelters and hospitals and aid stations and uh, volunteer coordination centers and things of that nature. You can plot those locations on the map and uh, update the status of hospital beds or space available in shelters. If you think about the Superdome and the problems that were going on there, if somebody was able to update the, uh, the situation as the crisis was unfolding in the Superdome, then officials would have been able to respond much quicker to that situation and uh, would not have gotten out of control. So you can uh, post a hospital, let's say, you can update the beds and things of that nature, uh, keep everybody informed. What you don't want to do is have people going to a hospital that's already full. We want them to look and see where there's space available and uh, you know, go there so they don't waste time driving on dangerous roads. Next we have the More menu, and this is where we keep uh, information that is being provided to you. Uh, you can change your role here. You can either be in the application as a citizen or a, as a responder. A responder is expected to participate in the response. You may be part of a group such as the Cajun Navy, Crowdsource Rescue, or some of these other uh, organizations that are out there helping. Uh, the visual difference of the icon assists people that are trying to connect people that need help with those that can help uh, by understanding uh, if we have responders in the area versus people that are just uh, simply using the application as a citizen. And you can switch back and forth at any time depending on your status and uh, the role that you want to play. Communication is uh, information that we can now send in mass, 
and we can send mass messages based on geographic regions. To, uh, so if you're in the path of a storm or a tornado, uh, a wildfire, something of that nature, government officials can contact us and we can send a very specific message to users through the application. So we don't have to alert everybody, we can just alert very specific people right in front of the storm. Okay, in the top section we have um, three icons, the map icon in the top right which has been explained. We have the eyeball, which allows you to go invisible. If you don't want to be seen on the map because you want some privacy or security, then go invisible. And the red cross, this is actual an emergency. This is the highest priority notification that we have. This is that life and death uh, type activity. We still want you to call 911. As a matter of fact, when you submit a, uh, an emergency, you get an option to click a button to call 911. But um, you can also get that information out because there may be a doctor a couple doors down that would get this alert and be able to come over and help or uh, some other professional that would get the notification, police officer maybe that happens to be using the app, you know, might see it and come over. The application is not sanctioned by the government and it is not necessarily used by EOC and 911, so that's why we always recommend calling 911, but then get out there and help one another. On the map itself, we have a couple icons. The bottom uh, crosshair is actually your location and you will always appear on the map in black. Number two is the filter icon. You can filter information based on what you want to see on the map. And there's your responders in different status. So once you go into responder mode, you get status options, right? If dispatchers are looking for people in a particular, or responders in a particular status, they can filter that so they can only be looking at people that are mission ready. The next one is a label. Uh, it would display everybody's username. Uh, we, certainly for women, we recommend that you don't uh, use a name that is depictive of your uh, sex, uh, just for uh, you know safety reasons. And then the top Q is a quick post where it kind of shortcuts uh, some of the steps to get some uh, get to some of the more popular posting options, and certainly also to help an emergency. You can X that out. In the top left hand corner, we have the hamburger menu next to the word map, and you can see we have profile options. Uh, next we have settings and this is where you can uh, set chat, display, notifications, uh, whether or not you want photo, video options, things of that nature. Um, if you're getting too many notifications, uh, and we're certainly seeing a lot of those come out, you can simply select some of these and then go down to the bottom and hit save settings. I uh, also want to point out that you can post this stuff uh, straight to your social media. So you can post it to Facebook and Twitter. Uh, so you're not only sharing and getting the exposure on the PubSafe app, but also sharing that over to social media. Uh, we understand social media is important, but it's not sticky. You know, the information rolls down the page very, very quickly. Uh, we would certainly like to encourage you to share the application. It is free. It is free for the foreseeable future. It's free to download. It's free to use. It is a public service at this point. The more people that are on it, the better response that we're going to have. Certainly as we're facing down a, uh, a hurricane, the people in Puerto Rico uh, are, again, uh, you know, in the crosshairs and need to, you know, help one another because we still have plenty of blue tarps on the roofs down there and the government's not going to come through. So, you know, share the application and uh, get your church on it, your, your local uh, community. If you live in a you know, like a trailer park, get the whole trailer park on it, uh, share it with your family and friends, uh, they can keep up with you a thousand miles away. It actually works globally, traveling around the world and things like that, it's totally applicable and uh, we're starting to see some international adoption. So uh, thank you very much for your support, we appreciate your feedback and uh, get out there and share this and stay safe and keep one another safe. Thank you.